What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel Sleep Your Dreamy. Today we have a Dragon Ball V Max deck that made it into the Limitless Weekly's top eight. Um piloted by Kong. This is his exact list. Um there's a lot of techie cards, and that's because Dragon Ball can kinda it doesn't need much to run, so he can use a lot of techie cards. Um, but let's go let's go over the list real quick. So first off we have two two or and guru. Primate Wisdoms allows us to basically look at the top, switch one card from our hand to the card on top of our deck. This allows us to possibly save cards if we're going to research or morning, possibly um, just draw into our deck a little bit deeper if we are specifically looking for another card. Um, it, it just allows a lot, of, a little bit more consistency to the deck. And then we have one Absol. Absol basically makes us a lot, gives our opponents act a uh, basic Pokemon. One extra retreat cost. So honestly, sometimes you could just put an Absol and their uh, the Trachis can be trapped. Um, if they can't find a scoop up net or any other, like an ADPZ, you might be able to trap their um, ADP after knocking some energy or even a, a Zashian for a little bit because it, it increases their their retreat cost by one extra. So it makes it a little bit harder for them to do what they need to do. Um, then we have one Crobat V with Dark Assist lets us draw into our and draw up to six cards into our hand And then the main attacker Dragon Ball V Excuse me We have bite for 30 and for Jet Stall the 60 and if this Pokemon is switched to the active this turn It does an extra AE And then we play that mainly to get up to our Dragon Ball V max and for one side kick it does shred 60 damage it's not affected by any of your opponent's effect and then Max Phantom does 130, then we can spread 5 damage counters any way that we'd like. And then we're playing Garatina um, for the Dimension Break, basically allowing us to discard special energy if we need to. Then we're playing two Mewtwo's with Mind Report. This allows us to put supporters in our discard pile back on top of our hand. Um, and then we're playing Mimikyu, Heal Jamming. This basically blocks any healing from Nell and Lana's and stuff like that from our our opponent's bench Pokemon. And then we play Mr. Mime, Scoop Up Block. This is again, another just thing to stop healing, stop Scoop Up Nets um, on Chirachis and anything like that. And then we have Fion. Again, this just provides a limited gust and it provides us a way for that we don't really ever deck out. And then onto the trainers, we play four Crushing Hammers. Again, just to treat as that energy denial. Three Pokecom allowing us to search for any Pokemon that we need. We play 18 Pokemon, so this is a good number. Then we play four Quick Ball to search out our basics. Four Scoop Up Nets to scoop up anything we may need to get off the bench. Uh, four Switches. Three Switches to move in and out of the active. We don't need, we only run three because Dragon Ball has one retreat cost, so we don't need much to move it in and out of the active. Then we have one Tool Scrapper, two, 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 two Pokemon Tools, and you know, we just want to knock Tools off. And then we play Power Pine. Power Plant just stops abilities from our Pokemon GX and EX. Two bosses orders, um, three Marnie, and four researches. And then we also play two Yell Grunt to follow that energy denial theme with the crushing hammers. And then we play four Psychic Horror energies, allowing us to, you know, put out a little bit more damage when we take damage as well. And then we play six Psychic Energy to round out the energy and the deck. Alright guys, so let's get into some gameplay with this Dragon Ball deck that made top 8. <laughs> John8040 is calling the coin flip. Yes, I do want to go first. Nope. Nothing there. looking like a good hand right now I need to draw into my Dragon Ball no, that, nope. all right cool so we bench but I don't have any so I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead scoop up net scoop up net 
Nice, we got the Psychic. Then we'll bench the Dragon Paw on top. Cool. Then we'll pass. <clears throat> so I have Crushing Hammer, I have the VMAX, and then we can... Marnie. Or he's going to warning us. Thank God we put the Dragon Ball VMAX on top. Nice, and we draw some energy, which is good. Alright, so we're for 60. Takes coin. Cool. So we play the Crushing Hammer. Nope. Evo, Touch, Marnie, a little bit of action options next turn because we need a hand. So we're going to go here. Um, how do we want to spread this energy? This attack. Um, then it's 150. I guess we'll do 3 and 2. Grunt that dark energy up there. We're gonna put back the Marnie on top. Nice. Um, I don't want to use the Pecom. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to use the Pecom because I have the Marnie and I'd rather Marnie next turn. Um, Max Phantom. Take that out. So we're gonna go two and then three here. Set up the Crobat for kill. Oh, let me draw into the mark. <clears throat> My god, we're, we're, we're kind of killing Turnus over here. Ahaha, <laughs> they gave us the win. They kind of dead drew, but I mean, I don't know. That's maybe what this deck is supposed to do. I am going first. Hmm. Let's go with the Mimikyu. Okay, so we do have... <clears throat> we do have a way to get Dragon Ball VMAX out next turn. We can quick ball, Dragon Ball, pass, attach, pass. I think what we're going to do is dump 
for Marnie. Then we're going to go ahead, okay, we have four. We prize one. Let's grab it. We prize two more and eight. Well, one more because it's a dump on the team. You have a four, five, um, and a horror psychic. Attach here and pass. Touching the water. What else does he have? Research. What is he dumping away? A saucer, a switch, and another golf party. That hurts. Why didn't he cherish ball? That's very strange to me. He should have cherished ball. He's. Uh, I don't know why he didn't. Didn't his deck at least. Excuse me. Okay, cool. Alright, let's bench the second dragon ball. We're gonna go ahead and commu com communicate. And we're going to grab our VMAX. Evolve. Bench. Research. That is unfortunate that we could not get a draw card. Hmm, that's frustrating. It that is very much frustrating that we could not draw into a card. Into some kind of switch card. Hmm. Go ahead, grab Mewtwo. Um, do I want the Marnie? Yeah, I think I want the Marnie. Dump that. That's upsetting. Alright, let's go. <clears throat> so he's gonna alter. Gonna go okay. Uh, it's gonna Marnie us, really. That's a rough Marnie right there. <laughs> what are we drawing to? All right, so we're gonna go crushing hammer. There we go. Get that water energy out of here. Um, do I would I rather research or oh, Marnie? I think I'd rather research. I think what we're going to do is grab the Absol. Make it a little bit harder for him to retreat. I'm going to pro that. And let's go ahead. Boom, let's go. Uh, attach, scoop up. Let's go here, and then we're going to boss this up to do a, an extensive amount of damage to him instead. And then we're going to Max Phantom. Um, he does 120 so we can come easily. We're just going to put all five on the Arceus de Alga Palkia.
he's like, I have no idea what to do. You just knocked off all my energy. <laughs> What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you, bad boys, bad boys? What you gonna do? What you gonna do like they peasy? Huh? <laughs> nice and quick ball. Throws away the mark in that wild wild. Perhaps another Zashi, okay. I forgot because I'm absolutely interested in you. I'm going to scoop up net, I'm going to grab the Mewtwo, bench it back on, put the boss back, and then we're going to research. <coughs> nice, so then we're going to evolve here, attach here, and we're just going to max Phantom. Put five on this Zashin over here. Started. We're gonna catch another horror. I think we're going to. Let's go, Team Yo Grunt. Put that energy back. Then, um, Max Phantom. So 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Kill both Sashians. Because oh. ADP can't really do anything right now. And Absol's really holding him in place. Okay, so he's energy switching. That energy away. Okay.
Okay, so he's really getting the attack off right now. Phantom two, three, four, five. That should be knockout. Oh no, I wasted a damage counter. I was only needed twenty one. I only needed four darn. Alright, that's fine. Nothing I could do about that. How did you get it? I think he has it. He definitely has boss in him, which sucks. Saucer. Saucer, can he retreat? Can he have boss retreat? Yeah, he has boss. He wouldn't be gone before he did. Such a close game, but uh, the boss. I would have had a game next turn. Yeah, I should have had Marnie or something. But that was that was a really close game. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video of Dragon Ball V. Um, it's making a comeback, especially with Kong making top 8 in the Limitless Weekly. You might be seeing it in the meta this week. Who knows? But overall, what are my feelings of the deck? Um, I don't know. I just, I personally don't like it. I think the damage output is a little too low for my liking. Um, I, th I feel like I was playing, every time I played this um, deck, I felt like, why am I not playing Inteleon personally? Um, one that 30 damage difference to me it just makes the difference because now i can two shot things if i don't if i want to plus also set things up if i need to as well a lot of emax is at 320 so that 160 plus 160 hits you that 320 that you need um and while i'm also working on sniping small things on the bench with intelligent personally but again if you like the video feel free to leave a like and down below and also, if you're liking the content I'm putting out, uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel. That way you always get a notification when I post the videos. And also, let me know what you think about Dragon Ball. Do you think it's going to come back? Do, what do you feel? Um, what makes Dragon Ball good? What makes it bad? Just let me know your comments on Dragon Ball overall. I hope you guys have a good day and peace.